Hello friends, it is I, the person, this video you're about to watch. Uh, since I've been editing it, I just wanted to let you know that one, yes, this video took forever, and yes, it's kind of old, uh, because I'm about to hit like 300 subs, and this is like the 200 sub special, but like, back up y'all, this took me a long time. And I'm putting it up there anyway. If you're wondering about the blanket, I just don't like the texture of carpet, so let me live my life. I am going to do four push-ups and then answer one question and then four push-ups and answer another one. You get the point. Ready? I I'm not. Okay. I already regret this. I already 100% regret this. Question one. What are your nicknames slash what do you prefer to be called? I don't have nicknames. You want to know why? When I was a child, people would try to shorten my name and I would always like lose my mind. Question two. What books do you want to read? I really want to reread Harry Potter right now. Uh, I've read it obviously before. It's a good book. I really want to reread it. Question three, how often do you doodle? What do your doodles look like? I'm an art student, like every every day pretty much. Here it's some that I drew in my notebook during class. There, there you go, right? There you go. What do you do if you can't sleep at night? Well, not much. I lay there and wish I was asleep. How many days would I last in solitary confinement? Well, it really depends. Am I gonna have internet or not? Question six. Do you save old greeting cards and letters? Well, let me show you. Well, here we go. We got the box out now. Cards. A lot of cards. I have a lot of them. This is Thanksgiving. I've got teacups. This is only the box from stuff I've gotten at school. Who is the biggest pack of rat I know? Well... Probably me, honestly. I mean, we just saw this, so, uh... Oh god, that hurts. <laughs> uh, here we go. This is a really good one. Some of y'all will be able to relate to this, probably. When making an entrance into a party, do you make your presence known, or do you slip in? Well, that'd be an easy question to ask if I went to parties. But as you can see here, this is my Friday night activities. Question 9. What is your strongest sense? If you had to give one up, which would it be? I don't know, you're really dependent on all of them, even if you don't think about it. I, I guess probably touch or taste, uh, or, well I guess touch or smell. I don't know, I just don't know. Oh. Like nice walrus form. How many times a day do you look at yourself in the mirror? Well, I look in the mirror in the morning so I don't look like garbage. At night, because I like to stare at myself, obviously, who doesn't? Oh, and when I'm doing stupid dancing, sometimes I like to look at myself in the mirror. This video is full of regrets. What is the strangest thing you believed as a child? Well, I'll share, I'll share one story with you. Don't know how relevant it is. But close enough. When I was younger, I found, you know, I found out about homeless people, and of course that's a big problem, you know, and I wanted to help out, but I was probably like five. So I didn't really have any money or food or anything to donate to these people. So my great idea was to take pieces of paper, make trash cans, and then give the trash cans to the homeless people because they didn't have any and it's very important. So that's what I believed in as a child. I believed that every person on this planet deserves a trash can. Just honestly, is that like a metaphor for my life? Is that why I'm such garbage now? I don't know. You tell me in the comments below. What is one guilty pleasure you enjoy too much to give up? There's this, there's this one group this one dance group, and I love looking up their stuff. Now you might be thinking, oh, well, dance, that's not really a guilty pleasure, is it? They're fur it's a furry dance convention. They're really good though, like honestly, it's one of my favorite videos. If you want to see it, I'm gonna link that. I think I can put a l or it'd be on this side, I guess. The little thing that comes across the top, you can click there, or I'll just put it in the description. Who 
performs the most random acts of kindness out of everyone you know? I guess I'd say my family. They're all pretty great, so... How often do you read the newspaper? Which paper? Which sections? I don't read the newspaper, I read the internet. Um, I don't really, like, obviously I make sure it's a reputable site, but I don't really care what news site it comes from. Oh, this is a great question. What animals scare you the most and why? Panthers and bears. And the really ironic part is my current school mascot is a bear. Are you more likely to avoid conflict or engage it head on? I'm big into like see, reading both sides of something, so if like two friends get in an argument, I want to hear both of their sides separately. Put them together and compromised. Ugh, compromising is so good. What is the most recent compliment you've received and savored? Well, I complimented myself the other day. That sounds super lonely, but it's true. What is something about yourself that you hope will change, but probably never will? I guess my crazy, um, I was getting pretty weird about worrying about everything, so I wish that would just disappear. Are you a creature of habit? No, I always get in a habit, like for example, this entire past week, I've been like, I'm tired, I should go to bed, and I look at the time, I'm like, oh, it's only eight, should probably wait, because it's ridiculous to go to bed at eight, like, who do you think I am? So instead, I've been going to bed at like 1 a.m. Are you high maintenance? Explain. Well, obviously I am not high maintenance. For real, I don't really think so. I mean, at least I hope not. Oh, great question. Um, when was the last time you pushed yourself to your physical limit? Right now, making this video. Do you have a whole lot of acquaintances, or just a very, very few close friends? Currently, because I'm in college, I have more acquaintances than I do really close friends. But that's because it's college. Are you more inclined to build your own empire, or unleash the potential of others? Okay, well, I just like... I don't know. I just like to have control over my life, and I like to ha help other people be in control of theirs. What's a strange occurrence you've experienced but have never, or rarely, shared with anyone? So my building is, uh, theoretically, haunted, um, if you're into that. I don't know if that's why, but... Uh, sometimes at night when I'm trying to sleep at about 1am so it could just be paranoia who really knows uh, I hear noises like sc some scratching what do you think about more than anything else YouTube I always think about YouTube What's something that amazes me? I could go on and on about plenty of things but one thing that I've been thinking about lately that really amazes me is online communities as a thing because these things they didn't they didn't exist like, like in my lifetime they have come like they they've become a thing do you prefer people uh, shoot straight with you or temper their words I don't really mind either way I mean I don't want people dancing around the problem that bothers me so where's your favorite place to take an out-of-town guest well that depends on where I am. Around here, there's a tea place that I really like. What's one thing you'd rather pay someone to do than do yourself? Like, I wanna say laundry or like mowing the lawn, but I like money more than I have a problem with doing things. Do you have a catchphrase? Okay, I used to think, <laughs> so embarrassing. I used to think back in junior high, catchphrases were so cool. So I'd always have a catchphrase. So, yes, there's probably something I say all the time, and it's probably something really stupid and annoying. But I don't know what it is because I refuse to let junior high me come back and rule my life, so... What's your reaction towards people who are outspoken about their belief? What conditions cause you to like, cause you to dislike, or conversely enjoy talking with them? Well, I like to know what people believe in. It's kind of useful. Cause like, I like different people in my lives, but I like different people in the extent that they're gonna at least listen to me back if I listen to them, I guess, you know what I mean? Oh, 
we're more than halfway there. <laughs> How and where do you prefer to study? I like to be here, in my dorm room, by myself. What position do you sleep in? Now this is a very important question. I will sleep on my side, like this. Let's see if I can, I think I can show you. I'll sleep like this, like this. Basically anything that's not on my back. Um, what's your all-time favorite town or city? Why? Okay, I don't really have a favorite town or city. Um, I really liked Paris. It was a beautiful city, beautiful buildings, cool things to see and do. Disappointed I didn't get to go to the Pokemon Center still. Taunts me to this very day. What are the top three qualities that draw you to somebody new? They're different. You have to like my jokes. If you like the internet, how has your birth order slash characteristics of siblings affected you. My sibling is my brother, he's younger than me. I played with a lot of cars as a kid. We played Bob the Builder and Tom the Train. I forced him to play school with me. If you could eliminate one weakness or limitation in your life, what would it be? If I could eliminate one, just be like, poof, gone, I'd probably eliminate me worrying about everything. If I could restore one broken relationship, which would it be? I don't think I'd repair anything because everything kind of shapes who you're friends with now, how you are as a person. If you had to change your first name, what would you change it to? If I had to change it, like if I got a knock on the door and it's like, this is the government, we need you to change your name, I'd probably change it to Connor with a K. Do you believe ignorance is bliss? Why or why not? Ignorance can be bliss. Ignorance can be the blissiest bliss that's ever blissed, but in my opinion, would I want to would I rather be ignorant and blissful or non-ignorant? I'd prefer to be non-ignorant. What do you consider unforgivable? Say crap about me, I might get a little like that sucks. Say crap about, you know, my family, my friends or whatever, I'll be like Excuse me, like, did I hear you talking trash? Yeah, I guess that's probably the, the one thing or whatever. Have you forgiven yourself for past personal failures? Why or why not? I feel like on a general level, I try to forgive myself for being an idiot. Probably wasn't as good as it in high school, but who's good at anything in high school? How difficult is it for you to forgive someone who refuses to apologize? The thing about apologizing, I just think it's important because it knows that- it makes you realize that that person cares about you, and if they don't apologize, I feel like they don't care about you. Eventually, with time passing, you'll probably get over whatever it is. At least in my- my experience, I tend to get over things. Do you hold any conviction convictions that you would be willing to die for? We're going real deep, apparently. I did not write these questions. Um, probably, I guess is the short. To what extent do you trust people? I basically have to get to know you. What is the best news you've ever received? I mean, because there's a lot of things I could say. I could say, when my brother was born, I graduated high school, I got accepted in the college that I loved, that I wanted to be at, I got accepted into this college after that, their college didn't go very well, <laughs> I reached 100 subscribers, I got to buy Dan and Phil a Starbucks gift card for God's sake, but um, I don't know. Okay, I'm only doing three, I did five last time. How difficult is it for you to be honest, even when your words may be hurtful or unpopular? Depends on the context, but I feel like sometimes it's really important to stand your ground. When did you immediately click with somebody you just met? Why? What was the long-term result? Conversely, are you close with anybody now that you really disliked at first? So that's 200 push-ups. That is 200 push-ups. And here we go, number 15. When do you find yourself singing? Well, I find myself singing right now. That was really bad, please delete that. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. Okay, it's currently 219. Um, so I'm gonna do 19 consecutive push-ups now. So, you're welcome, 219 people who decided to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> oh my god. 
Okay, that was nice. That was nice. So, that was this video. Was it stupid? Absolutely. It exists. So, hope you liked it. Uh, if you liked it and you want to see more from me, not exactly like this, you can subscribe now. In fact, why don't you guys mosey on down to the subscribe button and I will do one last push up just for you, okay? Just for you. Oh. Oh, yeah. Did it. Until next time, bye.